Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Globe Japan automatic petrol lighter, Ronson clone type, with a vinyl or some other kind of synthetic wrap that is embellished with an automobile. Pretty cool lighter. This lighter shows wear, scuffs, dings, scratches you can see there it says globe Japan it's a globe icon there as part of the logo very hard to see with the naked eye what I can see here through the camera of this white synthetic wrap. It is porous looking and I believe it is had heat applied for the seam here. Seems to be very well intact. A lighter like this isn't going to hold a whole lot of fuel, but I don't know that you necessarily need it to. I think someone who is going to carry a lighter like this might only carry it on certain occasions. I don't think you want to put that wrap in your pocket and just have your keys scratching it up. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay that looks like a brass and enameled emblem I don't know that for a fact but it definitely look, appears to be brass in the outline marks there The car, I don't know, appears to be maybe a Bentley or Rolls Royce or something like that. Looks to me to be something fancy. But I don't really know who this lighter would have been intended for. With this loop back here, leads me to believe it might have had a tassel on it at one point. Which... When I see a tassel, it leads me to believe it's intended at least to be a ladies lighter. But I wouldn't expect that a ladies lighter would be showing off an automobile. Seems like it would be something floral or artistic, not something machine powered like an automobile. But maybe this wasn't a ladies lighter at all. It seems a little big to me for it, but you see a lot of these size lighters. 
referred to as gumball lighters. So if that was the case, maybe it was in a gumball machine and some of those great big plastic shells that they used to put things in. But we can see here the lighter measures from the base it is about an inch and a, an inch and three eighths tall, and then across. When you take into account that loop, the entire body of the lighter, it looks like it's about the same, about an inch and three eighths. So maybe a ladies lighter missing a tassel, maybe a gumball lighter that had a chain on it, or maybe it was just a loop for you to do with as you wish. Make sure that you get over to eBay and check out the dependableflame.com store. Every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least 10% of each purchase going to the charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of the proceeds of those listings go to HDSA. High bidder pays the money, gets the lighter, I provide free shipping, everybody is happy. I did have to take the slider apart to clear the flint tube and it has the clutch affixed to the file wheel with the spring integrated into the cap. Other than that, typical of most Ronson type lighters, which that's not even untypical. Seems like I've been seeing more of those lately than the kind with the clutch spring on the side. But it is a very nice lighter and uh, I don't know how ergonomic or user friendly other than the fact that it lights really well. It's uh, very small it would probably help to have a chain on it just so it didn't fly out of your hand. So while it may be diminutive, it's still very efficient at doing what it was intended to do. And it would make a very nice addition to someone's collection someone who collects these sort of automatic lighters from Japan or automobile lighters or gumball lighters or maybe even lady lighters that wrap may have some staining it is just I'm sure it does and that would probably be covered under the general heading of wear but still there is some discoloration when you look closely at the wrap but it is not unattractive it's still very uh, clean looking maybe because of the color and I don't know that it was snow white to begin with pretty cool logo it's something you don't always see on the Japanese lighters the globe company was listed on the Toledo Bend BCL site but not these particular kinds of lighters there were some view lighters and I can't remember what else that I saw there but not any gumball or lady lighter there was a, they did some state series 
maybe something else. Make sure you get over there and check that out if you don't. I got a link to the Toledo Bend site from my page, dependableflame.com, helpful lighter related links, slash helpful lighter related links. And make sure you get over there and check that out, man. That's just, you could get lost over there. There's so much information on old lighters. Make sure also that you follow us on eBay so that you see those new listings when they show up. Don't be left out. I won an auction today on eBay. It was just a one day auction. If you didn't, if you were the kind of person who's just checking in once a week or every few days, you wouldn't have even known that one was listed. But I don't do that. Mine are all going to be uh, buy it now or the 10 day penny start charity auctions. And also make sure here on the YouTube channel to hit the bell so you're notified each time that we publish a new video. Until next time.